Now, I did have plans to make a video response towards this one person named Chloe. However, I felt like I would gain nothing, or at least get the attention of that person. However, this person is surprisingly able to respond to criticism. Poorly, but still able to respond. And this person is a female feminist. This is a very rare moment for me, because no female feminist has ever taken in criticism without resorting to using their own gender as a shield. But her arguments are no different from every other Lacey Green clone. I swear, she's just another Lacey Green clone. The only difference is that she's Asian and her hair is black. And if you don't believe me, well, this video will show you. I have voices in my head. They counsel me. They understand. I am a feminist. Wow, I can... See, she already has her hipster glasses on. And she was about to speak out for her pet dog as well. This reminds me of this one woman who used her baby in order to support feminism. And here are the angry mob coming for me. I can tell that feminism isn't a very popular topic here on YouTube.com, seeing as how when you search for feminism, it first directs you to a video called Feminism, Taking Stupidity to the Next Level. And have you watched any videos that criticize feminism? Because if you have, you will not reuse every goddamn argument that Lacey Green has said. I can already tell, clone number 368. That's your nickname, by the way, clone number 368, because you have no originality. You're going to start with bringing up the definition of feminism. I know this because feminists like yourself are a broken record player. You don't think for yourselves. You let people who have more power think for you. In this case, Lacey Green. In this video, I will be addressing a bunch of misconceptions about feminism, and I actually have a few guest stars on this video from people who commented on my last feminist video and gave me some great other misconceptions to address. Whenever a feminist says, it's just a misconception, as soon as we provide proof that misconception to be true by showing examples, you will say that that's radical feminism or that's not all feminist. You love the no true Scotland's fallacy. Feminists play this all the time. One. Definitely one of the most common misconceptions is that feminists hate men. I'm not sure why a quick Google search on the word feminism is so damn hard for people to do, but literally when you Google the word feminism, it mentions that we are seeking gender equality. God damn it, you can't read for shit. It is equality for women, not equality for everyone. But when it comes to sexism, on the other hand, you create your own definition and say things like how sexism is about power. As long as men have all the power, you cannot be sexist towards men. And plus, bringing up the dictionary definition of feminism isn't going to do you any favors. You think if people just look at the dictionary definition of feminism, they'll just hop over more because they are this stupid. People have criticized feminism for a long time and your excuse is, just look up the dictionary. It's just for equality. So really, there's no argument here. Because that's all you need to prove feminism is for equality. We can have many, many feminists raping babies in their sleep and you'll still say, that feminism is just for equality. Feminism is the advocacy of women's rights, but you need to realize that women's rights needs advocacy in order to gain the equality that feminism seeks. Name one right that men have that women don't. Name one that is in first world countries. Now, a lot of anti-feminists really confuse the term feminism with misandry, which is the idea that women are superior to men. Feminists think that misandry is bad. Oh yeah, because feminism can never overlap with misandry. To call a man an animal is to flatter him. He's a machine, a walking dildo. Rape is nothing more or less than a conscious process of intimidation by which all men keep all women in a state of fear. I feel that man-hating is an honorable and viable political act that the oppressed have a right to class hatred against the class that is oppressing them. Oh. But you know what? These people aren't true feminists. Feminists don't resort to violence, at the very least. Feminists across the Twitterverse were of course shocked, shocked, that this was happening. How could an attractive woman be put on a poster? So naturally, they went to deface them. This generally involved feminists walking up to the adverts writing something or scribbling something on them, and then bravely tweeting about it. And get that camera out of my face, see the fuck with you. You are attacking our cameraman. Over the 12 years that I was running the refuge, if I went to speak, there was screaming feminists outside. I tried to publish a book called Prone to Violence. We finally did get it published, but I had to have a police escort all around England, and there were death threats and bomb threats. And the final moment came for me after struggling for all those years, uh, when the bomb disposal unit came to my house because there was a suspect package. 
and so everything that came to me had to go to them first because they were concerned about my safety and the safety of my family. And that's when I left England and went into exile for something like 15 years. And I asked the police, I went down and said to the police, if that was black men or Jews, you'd arrest those women. But why don't you rent them? It just looked very uncomfortable. And one of them said, we're frightened of them. Cut that out now, or you'll go home in an ambulance. Yeah, that seems mildly inappropriate for a political discussion. This is what men's rights look like! 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 Hey, hey, MRA! We don't care what you have to say! Yeah, we know. Hey, MRA! We don't care what you have to say! You're reading that correctly. Oh, right. But you know what? That's not all feminists. Not every feminist is like that. I have never thought of women as superior to men. I think men face a ton of shitty issues in today's media and society, and that really sucks. And all I'm saying is that women face more. Oh, yeah. You face a lot more prejudice than men do. A lot more. Like, a lot. Right now, society views women as inferior to men, and if we are to help both genders, we must first make them equal. Oh wait, you're probably saying, feminists have that hashtag, kill all men, and they completely disregard the men's rights movement and protest it. I think it's pretty clear that feminism, like every movement ever, has a ton of issues in it. There are supposed feminists out there who believe all men should die, who are racist, who are homophobic, ableist, classist, etc., even feminists who have sexually assaulted others, and I think if you're trying to figure out first whether or not you are a feminist, you first need to realize that there are shitty feminists out there. So again, no true Scotsman. It doesn't matter if we show a lot of evidence to show that feminism isn't for equality because not all feminists. See, it's way too easy. If you're playing the drinking game, this should be like your fifth shot by now. Who don't actually believe in equality for all, and you need to put that out of the way because that shouldn't reflect on the real movement. Don't say you're anti-feminist if you've only seen actions by these whose actions don't line up with feminist beliefs. Ah, but that is just the icing of the cake, number 368. The main reason why people avoid feminism is because of your mainstream ideologies. In my recent video, a lot of people seem to think that I thought Meninism was a legitimate movement, even though I said, and I quote, What is a legitimate movement? This was just so funny to me because, of course, I know it started as a parody, but lots of people actually take it seriously, as if a joke would go so far enough as to start selling t-shirts that people actually wear. That is because people are starting to take a stand against feminism. Feminism has become too toxic for society. In public. Another comment I got with this guy asking me how I feel about the fact that women get less jail time than men. Even though this was meant to be an anti-feminist comment, it was presented civilly and I wanted to reply to it, but the replies were disabled. I think it sucks that women get less jail time than men because a murder is a murder no matter their gender, and that is a feminist belief because that does promote equality. No, you can't just say it's a feminist issue as well and then do nothing about it to bring awareness. This is not a feminist issue. This is a human right and MRA issue because we're the ones who bring this up. Not feminists, so quit pretending that you care! A second misconception is that feminists want other women to start being more masculine, infiltrate male gender roles, stuff like that, when it's actually saying that you can't be whoever you want, whether it means being a woman with a more stereotypically masculine role, or a man with a more stereotypically feminine role. Three, some people think that we don't need feminism anymore because women now have the right to work and the right to vote when we really should be asking, why didn't we have those rights before? Well, it all depends on how far we're talking about. Because if we're talking about way in the Roman times, then the reason is that because men had more responsibility than women. They have to hunt and go to war and build. Women didn't. Anyway, even though we do have these rights, we still have problems such as a wage gap and just- Ugh, The fucking wage gap. I am not going to address the same thing over and over again. You are not being paid less because you have a vagina because women have gained certain rights doesn't mean that there still aren't more out there to be gained. Four, feminists are all women and probably lesbians. Okay, no. Feminists are people who believe in equality. We basically recognize that other people are human and that everyone deserves equal rights. <sighs> That's a straw man fallacy. Very few people actually believe that you are a man-hating lesbian who burn bras. The man-hating part is probably true. 
You don't have to be a woman to realize that. And yes, even you in your mother's basement, why do you about how you hate women and feminism? Even you deserve your basic rights. Holy fuck is this wrong? Also, just because you think you aren't oppressed by your sexism, racism, etc. doesn't mean you should fail to recognize its negative effects on others and use your position in society to help point out injustices and help those suffering from them. <sighs> Only you would think that you are being oppressed in the most privileged country that you can ever be in. Five, this is definitely the juiciest one. On a recent video, a lot of people commented that women have more rights than men. Um, people were listing injustices that men face and in a way challenging me to list rights that men have but women do not. Men face many injustices, you know, I hate being repetitive, but I feel like people don't realize that feminists support men. Where's the proof? Where's the proof outside of we care? We care about men's rights! We realize that there are a ton of gaps that men face and that sucks. I really wanted to share this one comment. One user said that women have the right to forfeit parenthood because they can literally leave their children on firehouse doorsteps. Now, I don't know if you maybe you worded this weird, but who told you it was okay for a woman to leave their kid on a doorstep? That's not the point he's trying to make. I don't even have to be a feminist to tell you that's just fucked up. That's not even a gender issue because newsflash single fathers exist and they could also hypothetically abandon their children. And how often does that happen exactly? The only way that could ever happen is if the mother die. That's not a gender issue, that's just a fucked up situation no matter what. Besides the words women have the right to forfeit parenthood doesn't really make any sense to me. If you're a man and you really want to forfeit parenthood, you can just buy a fucking bus ticket. Or it can be as simple as telling the mother you don't want anything to do with the baby or having to be a parent. It's not that simple. This is by law and if you break this law, you can go to jail and lose all your stuff. This is why MGTOW exists. The only way that a man can be safe if he avoids having a relationship with a woman because if she files a divorce, guess what? Chances are she's going to win. And the man suffers for it. And the man has to pay money for the child. That's why MGTOW are going to have to wrap their dicks with ten layers of condoms just to make sure that if they're going to have sex with a woman, they better not impregnate her. Women do have the actual baby stuck in their body with very limited access to abortion services if they don't want to keep it. You want to hear my list of rights that women lack? Okay, keep in mind this is only like 10% of the problems that feminism faces because in this video I'm not addressing the injustices that other minority groups face. Even though the majority of focus within the feminist community is within the first world. I wish I could walk free at night without worrying about being kidnapped, abused, raped, murdered, etc. And I wish that girls didn't have to go to the bathroom together for safety and I wish that rape culture didn't exist. Okay, those aren't right. This is just you acting paranoid. Let's start from the top, shall we? Men are more likely to die from violence. However, it's not covered in the media as much. Everyone is safer if they travel in groups. I don't doubt that women might get attacked in bathrooms, but if you're in a public bathroom where there are other people going in, like say a mall for example, the chances of you being attacked is very low. And as for rape culture, you need to take a look at the Amazing Atheist video on rape culture because guess what? Rape culture doesn't exist! I wish that rape victims weren't asked things like, were you flirting or were you dressed in revealing clothes? No one goes shopping looking for clothes that are going to get them raped. You need feminism because never ask the victim questions. Also, think one case where the rapist got a slap on the hand because of what the victim was wearing. I wish that victims of rape didn't have to face harder consequences than the rapists themselves. That rapists got the jail time that they deserve and that victims would stop being blamed for their own rape. I wish people would stop thinking that anyone would enjoy rape. I wish they stopped thinking that an orgasm during rape means that they enjoyed it. I wish more people realized that any type of sex without consent is rape even if that person is your significant other. I According to you, people are too stupid to understand what consent is. I wish no was considered a valid enough reason to stop sexually harassing someone. Cause, you know, a rapist is going to stop as soon as he hears the word no. I mean, you act like we live in Dora the Explorer land. Rapist, no raping. Rapist, no raping. Rapist, no raping. I wish guys would stop complaining about the friend zone. I wish they didn't expect anything in return for being a decent human being or make girls feel like shit and invalidating their feelings. It's a funny thing that feminists like yourself say that. You reject the one guy that cares about you, yet you follow that Prince Charming of yours who doesn't even know you exist. 
Yes. That guys didn't feel entitled to all women, therefore being pushed to the point of sexual and or physical abuse if they are rejected. So you are saying that men are so desperate that they're willing to go as far as to perform violence to get into one girl's pants? I'm not saying it doesn't happen, but where the fuck do you get this idea? I wish female orgasms movies weren't rated R or where some male orgasms are rated PG-13. Ah, uh, citation needed. You're just repeating the exact same thing that Lacey Green has said. I wish we couldn't put a price tag on a woman's body. A woman could walk the streets without having to worry about catcalling. Yes, it is harassment, it's unwanted, and it's not flattering. I wish women could take their tops off without being censored in the media or shamed. I wish women could have a lot of sex without being labeled as sluts, skanks, whores, tramps, or hoes while men are called players for it. Do you know how easy it is for you to get laid? All you have to do is spread your legs open and say, Come and get me boys, I'm open! For a man, he needs to do a lot of things for a woman in order to get laid. He needs to listen to her and do stuff for her. And, of course, there are exceptions to every rule. But go on, and I dare you to get a sex change and start to have as many women going inside your pants as possible. Alternately, that women can choose not to have sex and not be labeled as prudes. That, are you a virgin, wasn't a question that people asked to try and label a woman. I wish fat shaming and skinny shaming didn't exist and that women weren't set up for impossible and unrealistic body standards in the media that can lead to psychological and physical damage. You mean something like this? It's not impossible to achieve a body like this. All you have to do is put that fucking donut down and do a couple of push-ups and eat healthy. But no, we must promote something like this. And you're not even being pushed to this beauty standard. If you want to gain weight and be a fat obese fucker, then by all means do so. I wish women who starred in porn weren't shamed by their male viewers because what? You're the one watching it. They're the ones making money. There's porn of pretty much everything. You want to see two fat ladies get it on with each other? Then by all means, go look it up in the internet! Fuck's sakes. I wish that breastfeeding in public wasn't seen as shameful. You cannot change public opinion. You are still be able to breastfeed in public, but people will still have their opinions. Because guys are always sexualizing boobs, so why get all uncomfortable when you see them being used for what they're naturally there for? Because those are two different things? I wish women could sit in public spaces comfortably. Yes, sit. What are you trying to say? Are you trying to say that anything a woman sits on is now sexist because it can make a woman's ass sore? Or are you trying to say that women have felt uncomfortable sitting down because of some invisible ideology? That they are lying to themselves that they are comfortable. In fact, they are being oppressed by the evil chairs. <laughs> oh. I wish the wage gap didn't exist. Wish granted. Links in the description. Next. All that people would stop saying stuff like she's probably on her period to disregard the thoughts of someone with a vagina because our periods have no effect on how we think and we don't think using our vaginas and please don't act like women are the only ones with hormones. There are women who uses the I'm on my period excuse to get away from things like acting like a total bitch. And again, link in the description. And as you can tell, I'm skipping a few things. I'm not addressing everything she's saying because if I did, we'd be here all day long. So how about I wrap things up? I wish that tampons and pads were free because they're expensive and we already get paid less for- You can get free condoms and hey, you can actually choose whether or not to have sex. It'd be great if I could choose whether or not to convert my vagina to fucking Niagara Falls every month. I wish people who didn't experience periods stopped acting like they know what it's like. Um, you're talking way too fast. You know, it's really difficult to actually keep up. Um... You know, I can pretty much tell that you're using a camera to basically stop at certain points, and I can tell that it's taking you a lot of time to make this video. <sighs> Look, just inhale, and exhale, and just relax. Oh my fucking ears! I can't do this shit anymore. I don't wanna. I'm too lazy. I'm too tired. Maybe if enough people made enough requests that I make a video about you again, 
I'll think about it. Until then, I am the Atheist Gamer. Peace the game out.